Did you know that Blockbuster could have bought Netflix, but the CEO made a massive mistake? Throughout the 90s and the early 2000s, Blockbuster was the renowned video rental company in the U.S. The crucial mistake Blockbuster made was in the year 2000, when a little startup company called Netflix asked Blockbuster if they wanted to buy them out for $50 million. Blockbuster said no thanks, and not only did they reject the offer, Netflix said that Blockbuster laughed them out of their office. John Antioco, CEO of Blockbuster, deemed Netflix a niche business and said the dot-com hysteria is completely overblown. At that time, Netflix had 6 million users, but within a few years, Netflix was establishing a dedicated and expanding client base. While Blockbuster's income was mainly based on late fees, a model that penalized customers for keeping their VHS tapes for too long. With the changing market conditions, the demand for online streaming increased among consumers in the late 2000s. However, Blockbuster ignored customers' preferences by not shifting to online streaming. Instead, it continued with its traditional rental model and charged its customers per rental. This was becoming less appealing to customers as they looked for more convenience and ease of watching videos. Most people think Blockbuster went out of business because of Netflix. What really happened was Blockbuster's inability to adapt to the changing market conditions, poor customer service, high rental fees, an inability to understand and adapt to client preferences resulted in its downfall. Netflix recognized the market trends and offered a more convenient and customer-friendly model that eventually surpassed Blockbuster. The once great video rental chain serves as an innovation lesson to businesses. Being stuck in outdated models and refusing to adapt to market trends can lead to the failure of a company.